Hey everyone, it's the site here and welcome back to another video on my channel. If you're new here, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you will be notified on when I upload. So I have a good amount of items that I've either collected from nail haul videos or from PR packages that was sent to me that I did a video on. So a lot of these items are either glitters, stickers, little decor pieces. I have a good amount of butterflies, um, embellishments, as well as some nail art tips that I uh, did either on myself or my practice hand so a lot of these things already come in like certain packages but I like to package them and store them in different ways and I thought I this would be a good video just to show you guys how I do that I have a couple videos out already of me showing you this process but I just thought I'll just do another one for you guys so we are going to get straight into it and I will show you my whole process First thing that I'm gonna put away are my stickers. Now I have a lot of stickers that I need to organize. A lot of these stickers are from Shein's website as well as Seth Snail Co's website. Um, and I will leave both of those links below in the description box so you guys could check it out for yourself. But what I'm doing right now is I am just sorting it between animals, floral, um, abstract line work. I'm just making little categories so it's easier for me to just put those away in this respective category. Now, after I sort this out, I do take everything out of its original packaging. It does not really need to stay in its original packaging. It just takes up too much room in my book that I will have them organized in. So after I take them out of its packaging, I decide what um, is going to go where. And the book that I'm going to use, I got this off of Amazon and I am in love with this book. It keeps everything organized and I'm just like in love with it. It's easy for you to buy certain pocket sizes that you want for each of kind of sticker. So if you have your smaller stickers, you can use the smaller pocket inserts. And if you have larger ones, you can easily use the larger ones. Now the three types of pockets that I use are the, the three slot pockets pocket I have a double pocket and one solid single pocket of course I am going to leave this link everything linked in the description box but it's also linked on my Amazon storefront so please go ahead check it out I have everything linked for you there what I love about this book is you can rearrange it however you want of course it's a six ring binder so you could easily take out the slip that you need pop it in the section that you need it in and just insert your stickers like that so after i figured out all of my categories i start going in and just placing my stickers in this perspective category and just fitting the pocket using the pockets that fits best for that sticker size now i did end up running out of the larger pockets um so i am going to order more but some of them i was able to cut in half and use the double pack for pocket for it but i just decided whatever um wouldn't fit in the double pockets i just put them place them in its category just left it out in the open and i am going to order more of those larger pockets um but towards the end i was fully maxed out with this book so i am going to purchase another book like it is about to burst like look at how thick she is <laughs> Uh, but this is exactly how I keep all of my stickers and it is just so organized for me. I'm just like in love with it. So the next thing I'm going to put away are these larger um, decor pieces. A lot of these pieces I got either from Shein's website or McCart. Um, and I ended up getting this case from Seth's Nail Co. And I thought this would be perfect to store all of those larger pieces inside and just have everything organized and put together. So after I do that, I did sort it in its little, you know, groups like donuts with the donuts, cupcakes with cupcakes, the ice creams with the ice cream. Um, I did take some of those. Um, oh, and also I have like those little gummy bears. I thought these things are so freaking cute and it looks great in this case. Um, also from Shein, I got some butterflies that I ended up putting in here as well. So this case is mostly for anything that's going to sit on top of the nail and it just holds it perfectly. These butterflies are so cute. I got this from Shein website and they are movable. It's so freaking cute. I'm liking the where I'm dying to use them. 
but I put those in there as well and everything just held inside its case nicely nothing moved around I did flip it over just to see if things will go through the cracks luckily it didn't so once again I am going to leave the link for this in the description box so go check that out if you're interested the next thing I wanted to organize were these little butterflies and these are kind of like paper butterflies and what I like to do I like to encapsulate these um, they came in a whole bunch of different kinds of pots I hate the fact that they're in different packages so I like to place them in these five gram clear little containers um, I end up taking everything and just placing them into these. I did have some doubles, so I did double um, put those together, whichever ones were similar or the same. Um, when it came to that larger wheel, once again, I took it out of the larger wheel and I placed each kind of butterfly, butterfly in its own little pot this is just how i like to do this um it is a little work just to try to get everything sorted but it just gives me more of um satisfaction <laughs> knowing everything is in the same style pot and everything just looks uniform once i place it in my drawer the next thing that I have, which I like to call, are these little glitter sequences. I am actually more than happy with the little pots that they came in. I am going to place it in my drawer in a different type of container, but the little pots that are in are more than fine for me. Um, from there, I decided to go in and start packaging or potting my little jewels or gems um some of these are chains so for that i like to use these containers these are 20 a 20 grid storage container i got this from aliexpress but i was able to find it on amazon and i do have it linked on my amazon storefront but for me what i like to do is i like to keep all of my golds together and you're going to see me placing all of my golds together the jewels are going in a separate i have like three separate kind of these containers i am going to order another one because i'm running out of room but as you see i just start placing them in these little square containers and they just look amazing when they are placed inside this container you can see all of them at once and yeah this just once again gives me gratification looking at how pristine and just clean everything looks in its little section on to my glitters now i have all of these glitters from set snail co um and what i like to do is i like to pot them in these 10 gram jars once again this is from amazon i have it linked on my amazon storefront um and it's pretty affordable you get a good amount for a decent or reasonable price um but what i like to do is once i start potting my glitters that snail code does have her personal logo sticker on the front so i stick that on the top as well as the name of the glitter and i just peel it straight off and i stick it to the actual jar itself and it just helps me really have everything organized know where i got the glitter and i could have a name to call the glitter once i decide to use it for a video and definitely shout you know set snail co out or whatever glitter i end up getting i always try to use the brands like even kitty's claws she sends glitters and has her sticker so i just stick whatever sticker is with the packaging onto the jars itself and like i said it's just easier for me to just have a name to call the glitter and where it came from and once again it just gives me satisfaction knowing that i have all of the glitters in the same style containers and it's just going to you look very uniform once i place it in my drawers i do have those spice racks from ikea that i do place these containers on um but yeah like i said it just gives me total satisfaction seeing my glitters in the drawer being consistent with the same style pop next and last thing i'm going to tackle are my nail art so every time i do um a set of nails either on my practice hand or on any kind of tip that i'm able to save i place it in this nail salon book now i have another video of me creating this book and doing this book but it is not enough space for the amount of nails that I am currently doing right now when it comes to nail videos. So I decided to purchase this nail art decor box. So I'm actually really excited about it. It's supposed to contain 44 grids. So it should hold a good amount. I'm actually hoping that I'm able to stick a set on both 
sides I don't know we'll see if it works or not but um so what I'm doing right now is I am just prepping it taking everything out um they have a protective film over it each of these little tabs have a protective film so before even sticking the nails on you do have to peel this back but once you do that they're supposed to sit right in between those little slots and I am able to keep all of my little art nail pieces in this box I'm super excited about tackling this project once again to stick these nails onto the little sections, I do end up having some double-sided tape. Once again, got this off of Amazon, and it's a pretty thick kind of double-sided tape. Um, but after that, I just remove the tips that are from the book itself, peel it off, and then stick it right onto the new sections, and they fit perfectly. I think they look so much better. It's just like more clean. I'm just like in love with how it looks. And what's nice about this is I can easily open the box and see all of my previous artworks that I've done when I started out, when I was just trying to practice a design. I can easily save it, stick it to one of these little cards and then place it down into my little box. Um, and it's really nice seeing all of the old sets that I've done, seeing how, I, how much I've progressed. Um, but after I stick all of these nails onto these tabs, I do start placing it within, within inside, inside the box. And I wasn't really sure how to place it. I don't know if I should put all of the like holiday together, all of the green nails together, all of the poly gel ones together. So let me know your ideas on that because I did struggle a little bit trying to just place them and I ended up just popping them inside the box as is. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on how I should organize it. Should I organize it by date? I don't know. Like, let me know what you guys think. Coming back to these little jars, I like to keep these jars in these clear containers. Once again, got these off of Amazon and I like to put these containers inside my drawer. Now these containers come in a whole bunch of different sizes. Of course, I'm going to link everything for you guys, but I like to keep them together by categories. So for this, I'm doing all of my square ones together. I do have a separate one for my butterflies as well as for my stars. Stars. I have so many more different kinds of little sequins glitters that I have in my drawer but for now I'm just showing you the ones that I physically organize in this video I will make another video just showing you what that specific drawer looks like in the near future But this is everything that I've organized in this video. I'm gonna stop here because that was just like a lot for me that day. Um, but this is all of my glitters. I am going to have to get some little tape just to stick these stickers on because they are peeling off from the back. Um, but I got all of my glitters, my sequence glitters. I'm so happy about this box. I think it is so cute and it's gonna work so well for me and I have more room to grow. So excited about that. And I think I could use the back side for it as well. And I cannot forget my sticker book. I am going to need to order more of those larger pockets for it. But like I said, this book has been working extremely well for me. Um, let me know what you guys think of my organization process, if it's too much for you guys. I mean, this process works extremely well for me, seeing everything, having everything together, organized, everything having its own home. Um, it's just been working extremely well for me and I know this might be too much for some people But this is just how I like to organize I want everything to have the same kind of pots and just be consistent all across and plus it just looks better in the draw in my opinion <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of this video as always. Thank you everyone for taking time out to watch this video I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure you guys are following me on all on my social media accounts and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.